Hello. Welcome to Zelda 2 Redux. This is a fan mod, a ROM hack, that uh, intends to solve a lot of the issues people have with Zelda 2. You know, a lot of quality of life things. And this is actually the only pre-Ocarina, the pre-3D Zelda that I ever owned. Not that it made a difference because I never really played it, but I owned it as a kid. I tried it once or twice and couldn't get into it, but I've since seen more of it. I know Vinny does his run of it every year. He does a lot of randomizer runs, so I'm, I'm familiar with the game. And I know that the... I know it's a, a black sheep of the Zelda family, but it actually looks more my kind of game than the 2D Zeldas. That is to say, the top-down ones. I've never been a fan of those. But this kind of has more in common in gameplay structure with the 3D Zeldas, which I do, which I do enjoy. I was, I was also considering doing a uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer. That should probably, uh, I'll probably do that soon as well. But this was shorter, so I figured I'd take a crack at it and see how it went. I'm using, uh, what's, what's it called? Mason, Mason, M E S E N, which. Previously, I've used Nestopia for NES games. But this was recommended, and it's it's, pre it's pretty nice. It's got, like, all the all the default settings are in a really good spot. Oh, yeah, I, I got a, a fast-forward and a rewind. I didn't even have to bind them. They were already set to, like, really good spots on the controller. I don't plan to use them, but they're there. And it's nice that they are in such a good... Uh, Good position. Oh, okay. I want. I want to come in. Wait, where'd you go? Yes, I would. Let me in. Okay, so I, I have to manually go in with her. Uh, graphically, you can tell this is, uh, different from the original NES Zelda 2. It's, it's more colorful. Link's outfit, uh, Link's color scheme matches the box art more closely. There he is. Uh, the life bar is replaced with hearts, like in most later Zelda games, or in most other Zelda games in general. You can see the UI in is overall different. What if I don't want to? What if I want to collect them and take them to other temples? I think you can do that in this game. I think this is a game where keys are universal. And I know there's also an item that is... Like a, ske it's a skeleton key. It unlocks everything once you get it. It's a key item. That was not an intended joke. Oh, I'm supposed to get a candle before I go here. Because... What, are there, like, invisible enemies in the cave, I think? Yeah, that seems right. I'm, I'm, I'm being- I'm being a basic bitch. I'm staying on the- I'm staying on the safe footpaths. I don't want to fight no stall childs. I know the sword beams are all, were also modified in some way. I don't know how specifically. 
Stop. I want to get the spiders off my screen, but these, the moblins keep showing up. Oh, they just keep coming indefinitely. I didn't even get EXP from that guy. Come on, Mr. Sp I'm, I'm just gonna die. All right, let's get out of here. Well, that was a waste of time. Is this where I started? No. Welcome to Rauru. Where's the healing lady? I say this is more similar to the 3D ones because it's more about moving around and uh, sword fighting with the shield. I guess I don't know how to explain it. You talk to NPCs a lot more. This was tagged as a Metroidvania on Twitch. Which I think is weird. I guess you could argue that with the temples. Which have been uh, renamed temples instead of palaces in this version. To better align with uh, the rest of the series. Uh, I Am Error was not changed. It is, it's the guy's name, so... The only way they could change it is to, I guess, rename him. There are some dialogue changes to uh, better align with the Japanese version of the game to make it more faithful. Maybe Bagu is renamed Bug. Maybe they'll at least make the pun pun work. Ah! Lose my sword beam immediately, and this guy throws spears. Shield works automatically in this game, unlike Ocarina. But I think similar to later Zelda games. I think I think that's the case in like Breath of the Wild or some of the 3D ones that would come later down the line. Oh, okay, level up. Uh attack magic defense. I guess I have to level up defense? Or I could get more than... Okay, 50 is the minimum number I would need for a level up. I would assume that the enemy encounters are also toned down in this version compared to the original, because I know that's a, a thing that a lot of people take issue with is the sheer volume of enemy encounters in Zelda 2. I believe it was originally a Famicom Disk System game in Japan, and then they, because that didn't get made, or it didn't get, it wasn't a success in the West, wasn't released in the West, they uh, made it an NES game over here. I'm probably getting that completely wrong. Again, never played this game before to any significant degree. I am aware of it by proxy, but I'm still mostly just kind of wandering around. Oh. I always saw these guys as like, uh, as San from Princess Mononoke. Just like the, with the knife, the cape, and the animal mask. Come on. Oh, 
I'm just wondering, as if I were playing the game the first time, which I am. Oh, God, this skeleton sucks. Stalfos suck. Is that a- I assume that's a Stalfos. Had it on the Wii Virtual Console as one dungeon away from beating the game. Come here. Come down here. Come on. I can't do, uh, I can't do a downstab sword beam. I can't do the upstab or downstab in general general yet. I need to find those. It's kind of odd how much of this game went into uh, Smash Brothers Link. Both the upstab and the downstab and the, uh, uh, the famously the Zelda the temple music. Heard plenty of this track in Melee. Hello. You're the thing that never dies. Or eventually dies, but takes a long time to die, so I'm not going to. Uh, wasn't there a... I thought there was a life up. I guess that's the... I guess that's the defense. I just get attack, magic, and, uh... Attack, magic, and they renamed life to defense. They also renamed the spell spell. I think they, they did, like, a vote of it, and they decided on Enigma. Which is equally vague. I think that's a terrible thing to rename it. Alright, give me more attack. I could get more defense. I, I really want an attack boost, though. I think they're worth killing for XP. The... The skull bubbles? If I had the down stab and I could just bounce on them, I would, but since I don't, I won't. Oh, hello. Oh, can I not reach you? Because I don't have... Okay. I thought I needed to jump to get her. That's another thing unique to this game. Hey, look, Link can jump. What do you think about this game being called a Metroidvania? I'm assuming it's because of the... because of the temples. They tagged it like that on Twitch. But couldn't you call, like, every Zelda game... that way? Like, these are just... This is similar to... Ocarina Temples, just 3D. You go around, you get items, you find keys. Oh no! I don't like that guy. He's like a hammer brother, but worse. I'll go that way later. I'll see if I can get my sword beams back. I gotta, I gotta pay attention. And get Sans coming at me. Sans. I think there can be stuff in these, if I remember correctly. Maybe not this one. There are, uh, there are no life drops in this game. It's another weir weird thing compared to other Zeldas. The only way to heal yourself is to, uh, use a healing spell. That's death. And, of course, you have to unlock the healing spell. I don't have it yet. So I got a hammer cyclops, and I got, what are those, iron knuckles? Let's see if there's anything awful to deal with down this way. I didn't go down this way. A 
only in the sense of NES Metroid. What what differentiates that as like in game design from like Super Metroid or other ones? Oh, that's not too bad. I thought they take I thought they took way longer than that. Oh, hello, you're fast. You're like a potaboo. I guess he doesn't, uh, he doesn't get knocked back, like in the original game. Come on. I don't know why I'm even losing magic. Oh, because the skeleton guys must have hit me. They... I know they eat magic. Oh, wait, now? That's odd. Now I have down stab sword beams. I didn't when I started. I don't think. Come on. How come you outrange me? I've got lasers. Ah. Uh. Wait, can I not damage this guy? I can't. I the laser he is immune to lasers. And now I lost my lasers. Ugh. Does does magic boost improve my lasers? Oh no. They got both these guys down this route. What is it? What, what is it? Vinny does. He does. He does like a jumping crouch stab. Soda Popinski has returned. Is this the first temple, or am I, or am I skipping around? I assume this is the first one. It seemed like the most easily accessible, and the first key seemed like a very tutorialish. Key placement. Uh, there was a Dragon Ball franchise sale on the Switch recently, and I picked up Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which is the Switch version of the arcade card game Dragon Ball Heroes, which I didn't actually realize was a card game. I thought it was like an arcade fighting game that players just scanned cards in to choose their character or something. I don't know. I guess that explains why there are so many characters if it's just a card game. You basically just have to make a model and one attack. I am interested in it just for the sheer number of characters, though, so that's... Probably something we'll do one stream of after, uh... We get such a... Zelda and Dragon Ball backlog. Twilight Princess, we're starting soon. Uh, Dragon Ball, we're gonna do Tenkaichi 3, and then the Xenoverses. Do at least... We'll try those out. Got Dragon Ball Fusions. That looked interesting. For the weird character mashups. Boosting magic only decreases magic cost. Well, I've, I know that's the case in the original game. I don't remember offhand what all of the changes here in Redux are, is the thing. Oh, it's this guy again. God, this ledge has to be right here. He's got a key. That's what he's guarding. Oh, thank you. I, I guess that doesn't help me, but thank you. Uh, I lose all of my... I lose my EXP when I die, so I would do not want to die if I can avoid doing so. Is it weird to say that as janky as this game's combat can feel, it's still probably some of the most in-depth Zelda combat? 
It's not a series known for particularly uh, varied combat. You kind of just press the sword button over and over again. Ow! Oh. I, I was kind of doing it. I was doing the Omni Stab. Get got. Yeah, eat it, eat it. Ah! Eh. There we go. I'm, I've got it. I just got to do it while falling, then I can hit the uh, his top and bottom at the same time. Uh, do I want more defense? I'll save up a little more for attack. If I get desperate, if I, it looks like I'm about to die, then I'll, uh... I'll give up and go for the lesser level. Oh god, I hate these guys. Okay, there we go. Well, I gotta get the key from the first one just so I can fight the second one for whatever this one's garden. So you've played the original version of this game somewhat, Darian. How's the how's the how's the stream look? Ops kind of looks like it's tearing, and I don't like that if that's happening. Oh. Okay. Well, I got to the boss already. I did. I, I missed the item in this dungeon. That must have been down the other route. Ugh. I didn't see him. Okay. I don't have. I don't actually lose EXP when I die, only when I get a game over. Wow, I suck versus this guy. I am awful fighting Horsehead. Looking pretty smooth. I'm gonna I'm gonna open on my end, see how it looks. I think it's just a window. It, it could be just a window resize thing. Or it could be nothing at all. I hope it's nothing at all. Reminder to self, do not look away from the game screen, because then bad guys with knives will come kill you. Now it looks fine. It's just, it's just obs. The obs display looking weird. Who are all these things with knives coming at me? Are they Ganon cultists? Are they the ones trying to revive him? Those skull bubbles have massively reduced HP. That makes sense. I remember them taking like 50 million stabs to kill. It was ludicrous in the original game. Ow. Oh, did I go this way already? Looks like they didn't make any changes to the attack, defense, or magic upgrades. This was the way that had this guy and also the Iron Knuckle. I want to say that's what these guys are. And I think I have an extra key. I do. Okay, I got the candle. I guess this is the Parappa the Rapper Desert. Well, it's sad when, when a game comes first and then something else comes along and hijacks the, the name. Everyone who streams this must make that Parappa the Rapper joke. Can't wait till I'm going over one of these lava pits with the... Uh, boar heads coming at me, or whatever they are. Uh. 
I think I get a full heal as soon as I level up, regardless of what I level up. In which case, I'm gonna take whatever that 300 is so I can heal. Oh no, by a slime? Not out yet. I still get. Ha -ha! It's such a pain to lose the sword beams. I'm taking stupid damage. I mean, I guess they're they're not. They don't affect the. They don't affect the hammer guys. And everything else has just been shielding. So I'll take it. Where, where was Horsehead? He was, like, down here. I got my beams again. Oh, they, they don't even go the full screen. Still got my beams. If I can keep my beams to Horsehead, that would be wonderful. I would love that. That would make me so happy. What did I see? There was a uh, ah. There was an ah. On YouTube, uh, someone made like a fan sequel, fan continuation to Ed Ed Nettie called Peach Creek, and it's just them as like teenagers. I don't know. It looks weird. Ah! There goes the beams. Man, I would have loved to keep those. Uh, defense. Heal me. Yes! Beams are back. I want I want a laser horse head. No! Let me keep my beams! I just w I want to cheese the boss so bad. Ah! Time to die. How do I even... Wait, go on, do your attack. Come on. Do your attack. Come on. This is a... Okay, I got the hang of it. It's still kind of a demanding first boss. Hello, Charles. Uh, do I want more magic? I don't really want more magic, but it's cheap. I'll save that as a cheap thing if I'm if I'm about to die and I, and I want to up, up, upgrade something. Wait, it's it's a rock now? Is that what happens when you beat a temple? It just turns into rock? That's not the original game, is it? I'm playing Zelda 2 for the first time in my adult life. I owned it as a kid, but I barely played it. I tried it for all of a few minutes on, like, two occasions. And I just never picked it up seriously. I think if it were more of the, more of these parts, I liked platformers as a kid, so if it was more of this and less of the uh, overworld stuff, I think I just didn't get a taste for the, like, talking to NPCs, all that aspect of gaming, until after Ocarina. I'll take that. Oh, Boomerang Man! Get 
it's magic. Is that all that's here? Certainly departure from the first. Yeah, so it was Mario 2 USA, though. In some ways. It is, it is definitely very different from Zelda 1, but at the same time, I think this kind of kind of has a similar design philosophy to the 3D Zeldas. It's almost kind of like a predecessor to those. Imagine 2D platforming Doom. I'm sure there's uh, there, there's undoubtedly wads of it. Are you even? There's a little beetle fella. I didn't actually. I didn't like the first Zelda. I haven't liked the the top down ones at all. So the departure would would suit me fine. Glad Ocarina had the. Foresight to highlight keywords when talking to NPCs. I guess it did do that, didn't it? After a while, games in general just kind of started doing that. Lady, heal me. Haha, -ha, sex joke. She's taking her into him into the house to fuck. There we go. Get that joke in that every single streamer makes. That every single kid thought when the lady went into the house with Link. Octoroks looking extra octo in this game. This was back in the day when a sequel didn't necessarily mean the same type of game. That's true. What were some uh, other ones that varied, varied heavily from one ver one uh, game to the sequel? I mean, the Metroid games, the Kirby games, were pretty consistent. I'm about to die. I guess I should, uh, how many lives do I have? Can I even see? Oh, I don't have enough to level up anyway. Oh. It's nice that the ones you got uh, got rid of stay gone. Link, don't stab so hard. You're sending him too far back. They're afraid. They're going away. Come on. Come on. Oh no! I need jump. Oh, I can't do anything in here yet. That was a waste of time. Come here. I do have an edge over the kids who were playing this for the first time and didn't even know there was, you know, a jump or fairy spell. That's a significant change, is that uh, the fairy spell you can cancel out of. Which is a big gameplay difference from the first game. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I mean, they, that and Fallout used to be, like, top-down games, but... Still the same kind of game, moving around and stealing, and, you know, stealing cars. That's more akin to what every series kind of went through in the transition from uh, 2D to 3D. Uh, is there anything I can do here now that I have a candle? Are you error? Thank you, error. 
I wonder if any of the obtuse stuff is modified in any way. There's a magic container in a cave south of the castle! Okay. Both Castlevania and Zelda went the same direction with their sequels, turned into non-linear cryptic side-scrollers where talking to NPCs was required. I mean, Zelda 1 was cryptic, though. That's not different between the two. It's also Zelda 1... This is no less linear than Zelda 1 is. They're both very similarly structured, it's just the style of gameplay that's different. Something about south of a castle. I guess I'll just go south. Honestly, I think Zelda 1 was a worse defender than Zelda 2 in terms of being confusing and uh, non-directed. Namely, the points in Zelda 1 that re expected you to, like, bomb every wall, burn every bush until you happened to find what you needed to find to progress. That got real old real fast. Pac-Man has platformers, but those are more like spin-offs. That's kind of, that's kind of a, se a separate series of games. I guess. Ew. Ew! No! What is this? Oh, it's a ma- that's what a magic container looks like. A bong. They did a, uh, Did You Know Gaming on Pac-Man not too long ago. And apparently... What was it? I think Pac-Man... The, the first platforming one was just called Pac-Man 2. Oh, this is the Zelda Temple. And it was, uh... It was like, it wasn't really a platformer. It was just kind of a wandering adventure game where you would, like, solve people's problems and interact with the environment. And it was a significant inspiration to Mario. Like, it, it was the game that popularized scrolling... You know, a, a scrolling world screen. Man, imagine if Mario, Super Mario Brothers on the NES had the, uh... The multiple screens. Like, what, what was the version that had that? There was a computer... Like, a Japanese computer version of Mario 1. Oh, here, here's something. There was a Japanese computer version of Mario 1 that was not capable of scrolling. Every, every... It moved from one screen to the other, and it was awful. Oh. Well, I, hmm. I guess that would have been handy. I could really use jump, or like a progression item, but sure, shield helps. Why do all the old men in this game live in basements? to Ruto. So I'm figuring I'm figuring out what to do by talking to NPCs. Which is in part why I compared it to the later of the 3D Zeldas. But I guess that that's the case in every Zelda game. Even the even the top down ones like Link to the Past. That's just a trait of adventure games. Are you Ruto? Hello, Ruto. You look lovely. Lovely town. Hello? Good talk? Duke Nukem was originally a side-scrolling shoot-em-up type game. What was the first Duke Nukem? Was it a DOS game? I didn't know it was, uh... I didn't know it was a 2D game originally. 
Someone in the desert stole the goddess statue. So I guess I should go to the desert. That sounds that sounds good. Get a goddess statue. Oh, here's another change with the uh This version of the game is that the second continent, East East Hyrule, or whatever it's called, has the overworld music from the Famicom Disk System, which had, was a different music track. So you get to hear both of them in uh, the Redux. Uh, okay, this is the Desert Cave. You probably have the Goddess Statue. I'm gonna find a statue. It'll be useful for something. Mmm! Oh, lava! Didn't have his sunglasses, he was rocking a pink vest. Sounds about as different as uh, Snake's Metal Gear 1 design. It's okay, walk back to the... Uh Walk back to the desert. Come here, you stupid bat. Oh, you're right over a lava pit. Come on. You mother took my sword beams. I hate this octopus. This, this cave sucks. No! I know it's a thing in platforming games, but this this game especially because it's designed to be you know, you're designed to be able to take multiple hits. It's like sp it's like spikes in Mega Man. Something that just kills you instantly is such a pain in the ass. I got a statue. I don't know what I do with it. I guess I'll take it back to Rudo. Maybe they'll want it. I still don't know who Tatami is. Hello? Anyone want a statue? Yes, I will come in. I'm good. I, I, I got the other lady. Hey, you want a statue? What about you? Show me to the old man in the basement. I wish to meet him. Yeah, basement grandpa. This spell, you can jump very high! Okay, that's what I needed. Thank you, wizard. For the stream, so we should be good. I just want, I don't want to be sure. Oh, 
audio levels before the stream, so it should be good. I just want, I don't want to be sure. Oh, I don't like these guys. You know, here. No distractions. Boy, I need to, uh, I need to boost my attack. So that I can kill things faster, so that they can deal less damage to me. That should be my game plan. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, what do I do? I have to get good, and I'm not good at getting good. I hate these boomerang guys! Back in the cave. Oh no, I start- that was a game over. I start all over. Thankfully, it's never truly a full game over in this game. Boy, that'd be brutal with a game like this. I watch Vinny's uh, randomizer streams of this, and the the just the garbage that it spews out to create a world map in the randomized version. You really have to know this game inside and out to do the randomizer. Which is usually the case with randomizers. There's no way to tell what he's about to do! Okay, I got my sword beams. I'm just gonna, uh... No! Oh, does it just- it just doesn't affect any of the red guys? I- I hate those. They're awful. Mm. Maybe there's a pattern. Maybe I just need to duck more, just to be cautious. Get got! Ah! Come on. Come here. No, oh, I need EXP. I need to level up. I need better attacks. How- how cast? Uh... A... B... Start... Select... Left, right... How- how cast spell? How do? How do I use the thing? <sighs> How to use a spell in Zelda 2. And activate, okay. So, while I'm in this menu, I just have which one is active at a given time. And then I press select to use it. That's bizarre, but now I know. Okay, I'm, I'm in new territory. I can't wait to have to go through that cave again. Come here, fairy. Ah, I needed those. You're not a fairy. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to go through the cave again, because of, yeah. You have to start all the way from the temple. I, 
if, I'm, I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to grind to get more attack so that I can get through those boomerang guys without dying. These, these ones are worth so little XP now though. Hello. I'm gonna have 50. Another 50. Yes, please. Come on, keep them coming. I know these uh, these drop rates were increased. Wait, the red slimes are affected by the lasers. I guess it's just red tall enemies that are not affected by the lasers. Sword beans. The life spell would do me wonders. This is probably just gonna be the 300 is just the magic, isn't it? It's gonna be a worthless. You know what I should be using? I should be using shield. I just remembered I have that. Well, I feel like a putz. Redux made it so you don't have to go to the menu to cast the spell more than once. That's right. It keeps track of which one you have selected so that you can, uh... Just have it selected when you move to another map. Alright, let's try the cave with shield this time. less painful. Come here. Little... They, they look like the bugs from Nausicaa. Which, actually, I would not be surprised if uh, Studio Ghibli were an influence on this game. I mean, infamously, Disney was. With the whole Lynx design Peter Pan thing. Oh, I forgot to cast shield when I entered that map. Oh, that was a waste. Ah! I added a compressor so that I can do that without feeling as guilty. Probably sounds a little weird when I scream, but it's less ear-breaking. Come on. Come down, Mr. Vampire. Not a lot of games use the select button actively. Oh, it's the swamp. I don't want to be in the swamp. Swamp bad. Move slow in swamp. It's a good sound effect. It's like a, it's fart step. <laughs> Hello, Sandy. Oh, boomerangs! I used it twice. That was pointless. I don't think. Okay, those guys are actually not as bad as the red ones, at the very least. I still don't like them. Hey, we gotta go through the swamp, do we? I don't want to go through the swamp. Please, disappear. 
Oh, there's lots of big ones. Let me on the path! Give me the fairy! Get a free 50, this isn't too bad. Path, please. There we go. I'm safe. Everyone knows monsters fear footpaths. Oh, there's a boulder. No. There's a cave. Playing it safe. Come on, frog thing. I don't even know what you are. Die. Link with his aggressive die stab. Oh, it's a boomerang, man. It's a weaker version of the boomerang man, but still a boomerang man. Or boomerang pig, whatever he is. Is this the lost child? No, this is some free EXP. I'll take it. Uh, do I want more life or do I, I want to... I would love to get more attack if I can. Honestly, Link's pretty agile in this game. More so than usual, for sure. Oh, hello. Uh... Magic? Is that all? Is there even anything over here? What is this? Everything's new. I've never been to this version of Hyrule. Okay, I made it onto the path. Is oh, that's what these are. They're they're. This goes to a temple. I wanted to find a town, not a temple. No, I went off the... Okay, I'm, I'm back on the... So as soon as you press a direction towards a tile, it counts you as being on that tile, it seems. I shouldn't be here. This is dangerous. I, sh I should find a town, maybe find a spell. Like, life? Life would be great. I thought they dropped blue ones sometimes that turned into the slime enemies. Ah! Ah! Downstab skeleton! Can I get just a little more to level up? A slime, perfect. Oh, that's only two! I need three! 9.99? Ah! What are- you- you! How much are you worth? Ah! 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 Die! item is in this temple. What, what do I need for the... I need bombs for the to blow up the rocks. No, I need a hammer. Then I would have free access between towns, and that would be great. I'm just gonna get hit by everyone. That seems like a good idea. Every single head. Don't have a key. Can't do shit. Thank you. Let's take all those hits.
Bob and weave. And there's a slime. That's okay. Slimes don't hurt much, I think. Oh, there's one. Boy, if I had life, I could use that magic to heal myself. All these magic bottles I'm picking up on the ground would suddenly be worth something. I know a rule of thumb is that usually in Zelda 2 temples, the item is on the left and the boss is on the right. I'm gonna try to beat this in one stream. Ah, not necessarily. We'll see how far I get. It'll prob probably be two. I don't want to fight a scary skeleton, man! I'm surrounded! I, j I accidentally fast-forwarded. Do I want to come back? I mean, I'm already here. I really don't want to walk through that swamp again, is the thing. Let's start from the bottom. Maybe not. I can't go left from the bottom. Hello, slimes. Ah! Ah, you shoot! Priorities. The life spell. The down stab. It's both of those things in particular would be wonderful. Oh, no. No! Ah! Okay, I need that. I should have played Link more in Smash Brothers. I should have prepared for this. Am I gonna get got by slimes, really? There's so many of them! Come on. I don't want to get shot, either. Okay, I got the key. The key was... up here to the left. Past some things. Is it a skeleton? Are you... you got a key door? What's over here? Heads. Heads are over here. Damn it! by a slime. Were there slimes in Dracula's castle? These linear moving head enemies are deceptively difficult to nail. Oh no, there's lava. Yeah, get out of here, slimes. Ah! No. Soundtrack is so familiar, I've never played this before. Uh, yes, this was used in the temple stage in Smash Brothers. Probably most famously. This is the game the track originates from, though. It's the Zelda 2 temple theme. Or palace theme. Oh, this one stays on the screen with me! Eh. Useless. Got another 20. 
close. Get another two. Give me a slime. Oh! Forgot they took more than one. I'll take it. I want the life back. Oh, that doesn't heal me! Man! I hate these stabby skeletons! I got a YouTube promotion for another Nicktoons racer game today. So I guess there's another one of those on the horizon. Oh no, I wanted that! Ah! Ah, the ceiling's falling! What do I do? I could destroy those if I had downstab. Ah, you look- you look strong and scary. And there's a slime. Please leave me alone, slime. Okay. I need another key! They're not even worth that much experience. This- this is suffering. There's only Temple 2. Maybe I'm doing them out of order. Maybe this isn't even the t intended second temple. Uh, no, you do not have downstab by default. You have to unlock both upstab and downstab. You need to be taught how to how to do those things by wizards. They're the only ones who truly know how to wield a sword. That was a lot of damage from slimes. A lot of dead ends in this dungeon, too. I haven't really gone very far this way yet, I don't think. These guys are nice, uh... Fairly easy EXP in this version. Completely not worth the effort in the original version. Alright, this is where the two skeletons are. Come here. There's, there's the key I needed. I think the... I think the extra tunics are also new to this version. Depending on how leveled your magic is, by using a shield you get the blue t a blue tunic or a red tunic is the stronger one. What an ugly color scheme the blue tunic is though. The brown and blue. Oh no! I think this is the way the key door is. And I saw the item was just behind it. So I would love to get that. They're in twos now? Don't diss brown and blue. Ah! I don't know why I'm doing that. I have one hit remaining. Come on, jump in the lava. Come here, Mr. Slime. Ah! <sighs> Boy, what's the game over count gonna be for this? I'm gonna have a lot of them.
Fortunately, these guys aren't too scary if you know the... If you know the way. Come on. want that. Yeah. That's kind of red a redundant enemy, the little snake fellas. They're just Octoroks, but again. This is where the roof falls. Nope. Oh. Give me that. Probably should have used shield. I have slightly more than one heart while fighting this guy. It's okay. Again, not as bad as he looks. Not another magic. Ah, there's another one. How come he gets to walk through the door? That's not fair. Uh, do I want a defense boost? I'll, I'll save it. Wait, can I... Oh, no, I can't access that, street, that screen again by will. What are those? They're gauntlets, but what do they do? I don't remember what the gauntlets do. In this game. Oh, I should have leveled up. I think that was another, uh... Optionally enableable mod. Was that you could, uh... You could manually access the level up screen if you so chose. I didn't, I didn't download that one. I kind of wish it were in here by default. That is, it seems like a good feature. Oh, now I'm stuck getting a tooth. Oh, now I'm, I, I could, that was stupid of me. Now I can't do anything until I get to 2000. Which more than likely means I'm just going to die and lose it. left. I can't bank it or nothing. There go my beam swords. Can I even get through here? Oh, I can. I actually thought I needed the, uh, I needed the downstab for some reason. Also, I just remembered that, uh, clearing dungeons is a free level up. Or clearing palaces. So really, the ideal is for me to level up just before I, uh, complete one. Then I get the most out of it. Okay, bye. Ooh, hello. I'm kind of close, but not close enough. I don't think I'm going to get there. Especially not doing things like that. Man! Slimes! Slimes and boomerang guys are my bane. Boomerang guys because they can be difficult. Slimes because I'm an idiot. Oh, it's one of these guys. How Can I get through this without taking damage? No, I cannot. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to die to this guy. That's what's going to happen. I should have shielded. That's what I should have done. Or I should have used the shield spell. Still 600 away, and San San guy thing. 
Maybe I should just stand here and grind. Well, how, how, how do I do? 300 of these guys? That sounds like a good idea. I'll just grind 300. Down to a single hit, a single life. I am prepared to inevitably die. This, this is the boss, isn't it? And there's another one of those guys. Lovely. Dead. Thank you, Darian. There it goes. Oh, that EXP. Ah, uh, I should have leveled. That was so deep in the temple, too. Where, where was I? Was it down here? Or did I... Maybe I went left first, and then down, and then right. I think that's what's ha I think that's what happened. I think this was a dead end with a key. Oh, he doesn't spit on the way back. Is there anything in here? Maybe I should break these. Man, what a pioneer this game was. On no other NES game could you smash blocks to gain items. Totally original to Zelda. I'm gonna bet this is, a, this is a big waste of time, but I don't know, I've never done it before. Big waste of time. Well, there's that, at least. Oh, am I locked into the... I'm locked into the attack now. I, I have to get the 2,000. It won't let me get the uh, lesser upgrades. Oh, and everything in the temple is respawned. Jumping Salphos, this isn't even the way to go. I think I went left and then down and then right, didn't I? Or didn't I? I don't, I don't know. Just get dripped on. I need the EXP. Give me that expa. These guys are so not worth it. I mean, I guess if I could get them consistently, but they just get more of them to show up and interrupt. No! Damn it! I... Ah! Stupid dragon's heads. Oh, it's the same one. It, it came back around again. 
It's an interesting way to do that. This is the weight of the item. I think. I, I, I am, I'm lost. Well, I should just be using this in every room, because I got no other use for magic anyway. And I inevitably end up getting a useless magic jar in every room. So this was the entrance. What was this? This was a dead end. I think, I think both of these top right ones were dead ends. I'm gonna follow this wall. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I know, I know I ultimately was going right before I got to whereabouts the boss was. And I went here, and this was the room with all the little bits and these guys. And I said, no, this is a dead end. But I guess I should double check, because I'm not totally sure anymore. Ah! Man! Maybe I can stealth it. Maybe I can go overhead. Yeah! And it's a dead end. Awesome. So I was going the right way, and then I turned around. Just gotta avoid the slimes, because I don't have my down stab. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a one-and-done one stream. I think this is gonna be a two-parter, at least. And that depends if I get stuck in the future. So it's down the dragon head route. I think I'm on my last life again. Boy, if I get the if I could just complete complete the dungeon and get my level up, then I at least wouldn't be locked in the 2000 anymore. I should, uh, I should su suggest to the mod creators that the manually accessible level up screen be included as part of the default changes. Because the way it works is that they have the, they have the Redux patch, which is all of the changes that the creator decided to make. And then they also have a bunch of optional patches to go with it if you want to add those. Or if you want to disable changes that, by default, are made in the Redux version. Which I think being able to access your level up at any time would be a good inclusion by default. Again, I do not use shield in the, one, in the room that it actually counts in. It's okay, though. I know where I'm going now. I, I just gotta get there and live. Oh, 
It's a tall order, but I think I can do it. If I really wanted to be cheesy, I could use Rewind, but I don't intend to do that. Oh, one of them escaped. Is it just the same two? It's just the same two looping indefinitely. Kind of like Clobber Carnage. Okay, it's not that bad, Sandy. Come on, jump in the lava. Yeah, take a nice lava bath. Okay, I think this is the elevator room. Now I gotta get past some dudes again. Come here. I hate how this guy works with the screen. It makes it so hard to pin him down. There we go, get out of here. Just every room. Might as well. You got something for me? You do. This is the part where I will have to go right. I think I have to go to the bottom and then right. Stupid eyeball. This would also be much harder if I was t attempting it without knowing about this, like, falling stab trick. Is this the first temple? No, this is the second temple. The second one I've been to, I assume it's the second one in intended order. There goes a bunch of my health again. I probably wandered through a swamp earlier than I ought have. No, let me through! Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm in. I'm in this room now, and I have more than one life, so I believe I can die and come back. Oh, where am I going? What am I doing? This is the way to the boss, I think. And I already got the item, so I should just need. Should just have the boss left. I assume this is the way to the boss. There's a scary club man ogre. There might be something down there, but I'm not gonna bother. Ooh, that's that's stuff. I like stuff. Do I wanna risk getting stuff? Ah, nope, no stuff. There, there was a position, there was a way I could stand on that without, man, to those things. Okay, I still got two lives, that's alright. There's a place I can stand on this without breaking it. Ah, really? Oh, I got it. It's still lame. This sucks. I got one of these guys. They're heavy-handed on the enemies in this dungeon. There go my sword beams. Sure glad I had a key, apparently. Oh, 
What's in here? A red guy. Down to half health. Against what I think is the ogre boss. No? What is this guy? He's a knight? Oh, I knocked his head off. Ah, really? I gotta go all the way back again. Whoa, there's a Link doing the electric slide for a second. I made it all the way there, and then I died. And I'm never gonna level up because I locked myself in 2,000 level up. I, c I could come back later, I just, again, I don't want to walk through the swamp again if I can avoid it. Alright, come on, I'll, I'll get you guys. No, I won't. Now they're desynced. Oh god, they're desynced. Okay, it's fine. Thank god these aren't disappearing platforms. That would be horrible overkill. This is the room with all the orange guys. Lots of orange and red guys. In this temple. Why, though? There we go, get out of here. You got a thing for me. I'm becoming much more intimate, intimately acquainted with this temple than I ever had a need to. At least I am to the boss. I didn't run, up, run into any uh, any doors I like the key for or anything. These things are needlessly damaging. I haven't figured out the perfect technique to get through them without taking a hit. Maybe that was it. Maybe I just did it. I keep getting bonked on the head as I walk under. I mean, in the normal game, I wouldn't even be able to deal with these guys. They would just be too much of a damage sponge to be worth fighting. I just have to put up with them being on the screen. Small favors. Go down. Come on, Link. You can do it. Final rush of bosses and this Shrek motherfucker with his big stupid donkey clubs. How much is that? 200. I'll take it. Not enough to matter, but it's something, I guess. Give me another shield. Give me the knife, guys. There they are. Thank you for cheese. Give me another shield. Give me more cheese. <sighs> okay, so I only I will only if I beat this, I will only be wasting half of my EXP. I'm not going to beat this though. I'm just going to die immediately. Cuz he's got laser eyeballs. 
Okay, two lives, and I'm at the boss. I, I can accept this. And I have beam swords this time. That do not affect him. Oh, it's Voldemort. Just stab him in the face until he dies. Well, that took way too long. Yeah, give me that attack. You bet, I, you bet I'll take the attack. I'm gonna max attack before touching anything else. Hey, we go back through the swamp, we do. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Ocarina would have been shorter than this. Nah, we're good. We're gonna make it. The temples seem short but difficult. Have you, uh, have you played Zelda 2 before, Sandy? This, in particular, is the Redux version, which is a fan mod to, uh, address some of the quality of life issues people have had with the game. Make it a little more palatable. Okay. The gauntlets do not help move rocks. What's up here? I would love to find a town so that I have, like, a new location to heal at. Oh, this just goes back up here again. It's the same swamp. Not a fan of 2D slashers. Yeah. You gotta cross the bridge with the flying stupid skullfish. Why did I just... I just took that. No! I'm alive. I made it across the stupid skull bridge, fish. And there's a town. It's the town of Saria. Ganon's minions are in the town. Well, I can't take a hit from any of Ganon's minions. Oh, you! Piece of... Okay. Don't trust anybody. Hey! Hey! I lost my mirror somewhere in town. Where's the where's the healing lady? I need well I guess I don't need it now, but I don't want to talk to anyone in this town now. I'm afraid to. It's like you need to talk to people to progress the game, but then you get punished for it. Alright, introduce me to your basement wizard. Link's not looking to pick up girls. He's looking to meet old men in robes. Yes! Life! It's about time. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be wonderful, man! If only I'd come here before uh, before the temple.
Here's the empty house with the stolen mirror. Okay, well I got the sacred gloves. I don't know what they do, but I got them. Hello? Kill it. I know there's another, uh, another quality of life change in this version, is that once you activate the bridge, it is there permanently and you don't need to talk to the guard every single time. now. I got the life spell. So that was, is very helpful, but it's not a progression item. Stupid bubble bug bridge. Ah! Heal, do you store magic? No, you don't. Man! Now that I have heal, I'm using it at the wrong times. So I need the hammer before I can get to a lot of... to any of these places. And I don't have any new progression items that would help me let me access places that I couldn't get to before. So I must, I must be missing somewhere that I can go. Here again. I think I think this was just a magic container. Guarded by stupid boomerang men. Already got it. I went to the swamp temple. And I got the item. The item was the gauntlets. I can't, well, I don't know what those do. Zelda 2 Gauntlet The Handy Glove It's an item from Zelda 2 and links he can use his sword to break heavy blocks in his path. Oh. Okay, so I I, I was right. I, I could not break blocks when I started the game. That's what the glove did. It allowed me to uh Break, break blocks. Whoops. Oh, hello. So am I able to get across the river? Here not. So those 
tall red guys are vulnerable to magic. It's just kind of arbitrary who is and who isn't. Is there anything over here? The gloves don't let me access any new place on the map. They're just for, uh... They're just for in the side-scrolling areas. Maybe I missed something in the... Maybe I missed something in the town. I could use a guide if it came to that. I know that uh, this game is uh, notoriously difficult and obtuse. Which, again, I don't think the first game was any less so, but... It was at least less difficult. Ow. I don't like these bridges. These bridges suck. I went to the forest here. I think. Is there anything here? There's nothing here now. Is there a way that I can become townsfolk? You're a minion, aren't you? Well, I already met your grandpa. I was already in your house. He gave me life. So I don't think there's anything new I can do here. Hello, townspeople. I wish to be one of you. Again? She lost it a second time. Yes, I have the sacred gloves. What else you got for me? Saria. Maybe this has something to do with the spell spell? Renamed Enigma in this version. Once Link finds Bagu in the forest... Apparently, Bagu is living in the forest, just in a house right in the middle of it. Which 
which I would have no way of knowing other than to randomly stumble upon that tile. It's another one of those cases like Zelda 1 where you just have to check literally everything and randomly stumble upon something. Stupid fish. Alright, where are you, bug man? There's just a bunch of random encounter tiles. Unless the monsters are spawning, I'm just not seeing them. I think they're just random encounter tiles. And one of them happens to be someone's house. Hello. What's here? What lives here? Blue spear guy? Okay. Yep. This would be forgivable if there was an NPC that mentioned it, but as far as I found, there wasn't. Yep, it's Bug. Okay, so they, they fixed- they didn't rename Error, but they renamed Bagu. They fixed the pun. Alright, I got my letter. a lot of heal you get from life. I appreciate that. Cross the bridge for the fifth time. I want that. I finally want magic. It's finally useful now that I have life. find the young magic touch lady and the old magic touch lady so they can magic touch me and I can get all my magic and heat and life back. Oh, Link. Won't you come in? Thanks. Hey, I'm a citizen. Bug said so. town on this side. It's just the other side of the bridge. And it's Death Mountain. That's great. I have heard not good things about this portion of the game. Might as well get it done, I guess. I, th I, I think... I think maybe the hammer's in here? That'd be good. I'd like to get the hammer. Access all these new uh, rock areas. Can't even hit a frog. All right. 
Which wall did I follow? I'm following the right wall. That's what I'm doing. That's my plan. Oh, I should have healed first. There we go. Uh... Oh, the magic boost, or do I want the life boost? Yeah, I'll take the magic, I guess. I might as well. It is useful now. Right wall. Why are there lava bone fish? There's not stuff. There's not like invisible encounters or anything, are there? Doesn't seem to be. Hello. Boy, I wish I still had my beams. That's okay. I didn't need them. Man, if shield increased your knockback resistance, that would be great. Save you from falling into lava pits? Unfortunately, it doesn't. You know what else would be great? Downstab. me some downstab. Downstab or the hammer. And this is a dead end. Alright, back we go. That's okay as long as I don't have to cross any lava pits, because lava pits are dangerous. Some would argue the most dangerous thing in this game. And it's more bonefish. It's okay, it's a short pit of bonefish. And that one's flying now. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, I don't like this. The bonefish are in the shaft. Oh, what's this? Just nothing? It's just a completely pointless patch of forest. I guess you could grind with it, but you could just grind with these guys. If you're a sadist. Oh, hello. I haven't met you yet. You look like you deal a lot of damage. This also looks like a pretty complex cave. With boomerang guys. Any items? Oh no, that was that was the circle. That's what that was. It's just, it's a Ganon axe murderer minion. Come on. Link. Jump better. Just gotta get just the right height. Oh, it's a blue boomerang man. This is the strong, this is probably the strongest one, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. I got lots of attack now. Love me some down stab. Yes, sir. Oh god, I can just imagine how bad this is in a randomizer. This whole maze with no semblance of reason to what cave leads where. Okay. I 
I could use jump, but I think I can make it with a running jump. Yeah. I don't need no spells. Ah! Oh! That too was a circle. It's okay. I'm still keeping track of where I am. I know exactly where I'm going. Except everything's... Re Why did everything respawn? I thought they weren't supposed to do that. I thought once you killed stuff in this game, it stayed dead. like those bats should be w worth a little more experience. They're kind of annoying. I'll take that. Someone know? I've officially run out of commentary. I have nothing else to say as of Death Mountain because I'm just wandering through a maze. I wish Jack were here. He loves mazes. Can't get enough of them. Jack is uh, working at the moment. His next day off is Wednesday, so if we stream anything, it'll be then. <clears throat> I've, I've been here. I haven't been on this particular wall of this particular room, so I will per I will continue. Wasn't this the Octorock room? Things staying dead would also be wonderful for keeping track of where you've been before. Is this a loop? I think this is a circle. I think I came through this particular area once before. There we go, take that. Get a life up. Or defense up, whatever it is. I guess it's not extra life. The life you can only get from, uh, from heart containers. This looks like a place I've been to and cleaned out. 
There were probably Octoroks in those holes before. Yeah, I am now following the opposite wall of the last time I was on that, uh, in that forest area. So where does this go? Is this new? Please be new. This looks new. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't, I can't block those? Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, no. No, please. Uh, no, I, I, will, I will continue. Wait, what? Huh? Why did it reset me? Uh? I paused and I hit the A button. Was was there like an end game command that I that I hit without noticing? Man, I got to go through here again cuz I don't have the hammer to break the rock. Lost whatever EXP I had. I would like to at least make it through Death Mountain. I was right here, and I pressed A. I did, I did it again just to check, and it didn't happen that time. Oh, okay, my magic is now high enough level that I have the red tunic. I'm leveling up a lot. Before getting the, uh... Before getting either of the stabs. I would also think, like, scary vampire transforming bat guys would be more dangerous and worth more. Apparently not. Apparently they're pushovers. I'll take that. Go through the swamp again. They can spit fireballs on the way up. Alright, gotta open the bridge again. Or I guess the bridge just doesn't appear on the overworld. I just have to walk through the town. I started watching uh, Adventure Time. Mostly for lack of, of things to watch. I've always kind of been put off by the show, but I gave it a chance. It was an extremely rough first couple of seasons. I'm, I just finished season three and characters are finally starting to have lore and be characters, which I, I think is the part of the show people like. There's a part of the show that I might like, so... I'll stick with it. I'll keep going. I'll see where it goes. Oh man, was it a rough start, though. Some very, uh, questionable morals, especially after coming off something like Steven Universe. 
which I recently watched through, and it's just a show that does just about everything right. Alright, let's see if I... I gotta find my way back to the forest section. I remember that. I do have an idea of where I'm supposed to go. I don't know why I went back for that. I was full on life and magic. Was considering starting a uh, walk foo. Just because that's something I've been somewhat interested in. The animation looks great. I did just never got around to watching it. And obviously, Jack and I liked Code Lyoko, which was also French animation. And then so it was Totally Spies. Which was okay. Totally Spies was not an amazing show, but it did have it did have things that I think it did right over a lot of Western American animation of the time. And it did I've mentioned this before, it did look really, really good by the end of it. It is a very well animated show. Okay, this was the circle. Then I went up here, and then I went to the right. And then someone tried to murder me with an axe. And I killed him. And then I followed this right wall. And I kept following it. And I got back to the forest area. I'm just st standing in exactly the wrong place. Here, we're on we're on track. No, I'm gonna take damage here. Might as well shield. I I hate how the roof interferes with the fish's trajectory and makes them so much harder than I need to be, than they need to be. I'm not hard. Magic. Oh, I could use a... That's worth it. I'll use a jump to get up there. Oh, I need to do like a running jump. Oh, this is the axe throwing guy. I, I just got axed to death. I don't, I don't like Death Mountain. I think I've come to that conclusion. So I just, I gotta jump over that guy's things. I can't block him and I can't, uh... Can't block him and I can't duck him. You can't duck anything in this game, really. That just changes the position your shield is in. That was jump, not shield. Now I'm a, a jumpy defense man. But at least I can chase bats back up to the ceiling. And hopefully not reset my game this time. This better be the right way to go. I think it's the only way I had left. And I also better get the hammer at the end of this so I can not have to go through this ever again. That would be good. That would be good to game design. That would be appreciated. Zelda 2 is known for good game design, right? This looks like a good 
route. Yeah, stabby stab. Almost up to another level. Axe guys are immune to magic. Sword beams. There's a lot, a lot of enemies in this game are immune to sword beams. That's not usually the case in Zelda. I don't think anything was immune to them in Zelda 1, what, were they? Hello. What are you? You are an axe throwing guy. I think I just used shield twice for no reason. go, fight through some monsters, some fireball bat fellas, gargoyles, whatever they are, and find something in this cave. I think there's like, uh, could be a regular upgrade like a heart container, or there's, I think there's like a lost child at some point in the game. I don't know if it's here or not. Oh, more magic. I don't really need even more magic, but... Do I want to save up for attack is the question. I don't think that's going to happen this stream. I should just get the, uh... I should get the, just get the small ones as they're available. And then the big ones I can save for, uh... Well, this was a pointless room. I can save the big ones for when I clear dungeons and get a, a whole lot at once. Oh no, it's those things. I can't do anything to those things. I mean, I can if I'm, like, pixel perfect, but... You're not really meant to be able to do anything to them until you have the down stab. At least it's not that precise. It's it's kind of precise. Enemies in this game are so obnoxiously good at kiting! <sighs> That's another change. The uh, flashing lights were not removed, but reduced. To uh, a... For the benefit of people with, uh, obviously, epileptic seizure potential. Epilepsy, that's the word I was looking for. I don't like where you're at. Yes, go in the lava. This is a lot of lava. I don't like this room at all. Ow. No. Alright, what's in here? Another axe guy. A throwing axe guy. And... Hammer! I'll take it! Oh, that's good to have. It's f The fact that I've watched mostly randomized runs of this game means that I know all the items, pretty much. I know what they do. But I don't know the actual default game world. I just know the randomized ones. So I don't actually know the proper order to do to get these items in or where they're located. Oh, all right, didn't I? This was a dead end. This was a dead end with a bunch of oct Octoroks. Get their Octoroks off. All right, so I made it through Death Mountain. I got the hammer. Hmm. 
which will allow me to get to this part of the map immediately next time, I believe. I want to double check that though, so I really don't have to go through Death Mountain again. Uh-oh! Oh, well, great. Where does this go? Oh, alright. Free magic container. I'll take it. These weird, uh... Parasitic creatures resembling what was inside Jabu Jabu. I don't know what their actual name is. There's another bad lava room. I don't like lava rooms. Yeah, and that's why! I want to save, but I also want to, uh, you know what? I'm gonna... I'll continue. And I'm back at the temple. You know what? Let me just make sure I have this area I can go to with the rock. I guess I don't need to make sure. I know there's a path that goes down to a rock. And then I would just, uh, I would go through here next time. I'm gonna, uh, save state just to be really sure I don't lose any progress. But I'm gonna stop here for now. I got two temples done. I got through Death Mountain, which is, is good. I'm glad I got through that, and... If I'm correct, I don't have to do it again. I would be happy if I don't have to do it again. And I can just break some rocks to get back to where I was. I think I can do that. So, so good progress. We'll do at least one or two more streams of this, I guess, depending on how much I get done per stream. There's six temples, plus the great temple, great palace. I'll come back to this soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.